Today, I want to show you how to force a reader mode button within Chrome for Android. Google announced reading mode for the desktop version of Chrome back in early 2023. However, the company has yet to officially release this for the Android version of their popular web browser. Thankfully though, they have been working on such a feature, but as of today, it has not been enabled by default. Instead, we need to manually enable a Chrome flag in order to access it. So we can do this by first opening up a new tab and then typing in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the address bar. Press enter after you type that up and you should see a landing page like this load up. Now we're going to use this search field up at the top and search for the word reader as that will help you to find this reader mode triggering feature that you see up here at the top. This is going to be set to default, which in its current state means that it is not accessible, but we can tap on that drop down menu and change this to either always, all articles, or even the with article structured markup option, depending on how often you want to see this button appear. For example, setting this to all articles or pages with an article markup will limit the times that you have access to that button. So for me, I have set this to always in an attempt to always have it available for me. And so far it's worked out really well. So after we change this option, you're going to want to look to the bottom and then tap on that blue relaunch button that you see. That's going to close Chrome and then it will reload the application with the new settings in effect. Next up, you'll want to load up an article within Chrome on your Android smartphone or tablet. And right up here in the toolbar, you're going to see a shortcut for that reading mode. Sometimes you'll see a banner drop down from the top, which also allows you to enable reader mode for the current site. And we just have to tap on that button. The application will take all the contents from that article and structure it into an easy to read format that you can go through. I have found that using this reader mode within Chrome on Android has been incredibly useful for a number of reasons. Some websites are just not designed well for the mobile web browser. So having reader mode take all of that text and format it in a way that is easy to read through has been really nice. Also, for the last few years, I've seen a number of websites automatically start playing a video as you get about halfway through the article. This always prompts me to stop reading that article just so that I can find that tiny X on that video and tap it to stop it from playing. So when using reader mode for that article, the video is stripped out and it becomes less of an issue. And lastly, I've also seen that enabling reader mode can sometimes help to avoid those ad blocking prompts that you see popping up on more and more websites these days. So if you read a lot of articles on your Android smartphone or tablet and your default web browser is set to Chrome, then I highly recommend you manually enable this feature within the Chrome flags page. I still don't understand why it's taken Google over a year to release it for the Android app, 
but at least it's available for those who know where to look. So be sure to share this video with your friends and don't forget to like the video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.